know, this shirt's been fun and all, but I think I'm ready to go back. Ah, much better. Hey guys, this is Nicolai Green Knight, and welcome back to Omathacraft Season 5, Episode 4. I hope you're doing okay, I'm doing okay. So anyways guys, you're probably wondering, what exactly am I going to be doing in today's episode? Well, I'll say this, I didn't really have a full plan in mind, but I was contacted by my good friend Afraid, aka Afraid Fire, to make a gold farm on the roof of the nether. Now, honestly, I didn't really want to do this at first, but you know, I figured, hey, it's an opportunity to make content. And it might not be the most entertaining content in the world, but I enjoyed doing it, and I hope you guys enjoy watching it. I'm going to have a fun time trying to edit us all together into something that's possibly entertaining. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys actually like what I do, and here's a series of clips to show what happened during that time. So what part comes first? The, uh, probably not the glass. Wait, uh, what sort of gold farm exactly is this? Is it, is it like one of those ones with the entity cramming, or some other me mechanism to call them? I got pushed to talk on, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so good. you see those, like, tunnels there? They just fall down there and die. Okay. They, they just fall to their deaths. And is, they there an, the is there any... E so wait, there is the XP for it? Oh, there's a lot of XP, yeah. It's so much that, uh, speaking of, I need to go get a lava bucket. Um, oh, well, we're in the nether, that's that? easy. While I, I was going to say, do you want to do that while I start yeah, sure, doing just, outlines? Just empty this um, bucket. You don't have like How that. do I get yeah. safely down to the lava? There we go. How is that the first time I've gotten that? Uh, you tell me, man. Come, come back here. It's just... Hold on a sec. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm trying to do a thing, and this strider isn't really being helpful. I just want your head. I mean... Did you get lured by warp fungus? Uh, I do not know. Apparently not. He's gonna kill it. Didn't even drop a head anyway. I'm gonna build the inside. Then do you want to fill in? Do you want to do you want to carry on like doing these rings? So there's there's two block gaps between each like platform. So do you want to keep going up while I uh, do it? And then. Uh yeah. But first I gotta give you the lava. Uh oh. There's a. Uh... Yeah, it's a good point to be fair. Hello. Zombie. Zombified piglin named piglin. Oh yeah, they're they're all named Piglin because uh, don't want them to despawn. Yeah, I figure. You know what would be really useful for this project? What? A respawn anchor. Uh, no, because my my bed's like, and I'm assuming if you if you just say it'll spawn in my base or something, the portal's right there, right? You just respawn and then run back, like it's I guess. safe, right? So. I'm gonna go do that. Wait, where do I put the lava? Oh, sorry, I was tapped out. There's a uh, dispenser at the top. You see the thing in the middle? At the top of there, there's a dispenser, and you got to put it in there. Uh, you might want to just pile up to it, to be honest. Or drop down, I guess. Oh. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll find it. So it's the very top of the center platform? Yeah, yeah. The, at the very top, there's... Yeah. I'm pretty sure I see uh, it, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Death 10. Oh? Maybe considering that respawn anchor? No, I'm, I'm already back. Okay, uh. Yeah, th there's really no way to get there without blocks. Yeah, you just build across, like. Wait a second. It's designed there is, to. There is a way to get there without blocks. Anyone, anyone watching on my end, you, you know what's up. You know what I'm looking for. Where are they? they should be here. Whew. Oh, could have been bad. And again, it's another. Everything could be bad. Oh, there's one. What uh, what are you looking for? Uh, that's for me to know and you to find out eventually. Come at me. 
Oh no. Oh no. Should be a problem. Wasn't a problem. Potatoes. Eat and forget. Eat and forget. Okay, you, know, you know what? I'm just gonna call the seven enough. I, uh, seven of what? We'll find out soon. After this, I can help fill in the, uh, magma block platforms. Oh, is it fire res? That'd be helpful. You know what? I didn't think of that. Like, I, my brain was, like, fixated on ways to get to the dispenser. Oh, I see. So what have you done then? We'll find out. We're coming up the ladder now. Uh, well, first oh, yeah, off. First off. Yep. Oh, I was hoping uh, they don't aware. always pick it up. I mean, I can. Where's this one? Will. There we go. Oh. oh, gassed, gassed. Oh, I fell off. I killed it. Don't worry. I, I'm dead though. Again. Okay, you but go. you said you know, you said it's not that big a deal. Still annoying. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying. I can't even water bucket. Okay, it's can like... I? Can I even make that? I probably could if I, you know, really tried. Okay, I'm gonna try this. If it doesn't work, uh, I'll see you in heaven. Oh no, I'll see you in heaven. Goodbye! Okay, you're a bit dead. Just a bit. Okay, take number two. Whoa. Hmm. Oh no. Certainly failed it. Well, bye bye. At least it wasn't as catastrophic as a failure. Okay. Take three. Made it. Spencer, lava bucket in place. Okay, now, to get back. Oh, right, Enderpearl. Go, perfect. Now, I can help with those magma platforms. So sometime during the magma block placing process, we ran into a message from our good friend JLR, aka JLR24, and he wanted to come help us with our project. And you know, that was actually a really big help. I didn't want to have to place all the magma blocks myself, to be completely honest. But yeah, he came in, it was a really great help, and he couldn't stay for long. But after that, we actually managed to have him come back and help us even further, and we got this thing done in pretty much record time. I'm gonna be honest. It was way quicker than we either of us thought it would be. But yeah, that's about all. That's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little session of me and Afraid building out the gold farm with all the magma blocks and such. 
Uh, it was really fun. Really glad JLR uh, you know showed up in the last second there. Honestly, that was really helpful. I didn't want to build all the magma blocks out myself. It could have been you know pretty bad if it was just me doing it. I mean, I could have handled it, but you know, it's glad to have. I'm glad to have the help. Anyways, uh, what I'm doing now is Afraid actually wanted me to go and get some extra supplies. Like he needed specifically seven stacks of redstone dust, and while this is more than that, not gonna lie, uh, I figured you know. I'm at least going to help deliver a little bit, because why not? And, uh, yeah. He also wanted me to get some deep slate, but currently I have the deep slate in a secret location that I can't really explain until episode 5. Look out for that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, Like, I'm going to go grab the deep slate and then go deliver it to Afraid, and let's see what he thinks. Alright, Afraid, here you go. I got all this deep slate. I uh, got a bunch of redstone. Here you go. 55 blocks. It's more than enough. Okay, so do you want to go put it in the chest? Oh, oh yeah, sure, go sure. Grab, I gotta go grab some sand and gravel from the mining desert and stuff. Oh, before, is there uh, gravel in the mining desert? Uh, I, sand and gravel from the mining okay. desert and stuff. Okay, fair, and the, fair. And the mining, and the mining gravel. Alright, sure, I guess. Oh, well, he's doing that, I'm just gonna go store all this deep slate in the chest up there. I mean, I was gonna, you know, sell it to the masses, but... Apparently my prices, despite having been lowered from the last price I suggested, they still think it's too much. Which is... it sounds ridiculous. Like, I feel like the one diamond for two stacks of deep slate is plenty. Like, it, it's a great deal. And honestly, honestly, they, that to me sounds like a ripoff. For me, at least. Yeah, I got ready to deliver the deep slate. And uh, as you can see, there's a little platform being built here. And that is because Afraid is working on a storage system for all the gold. Because right now, this farm is only good for EXP. So, what we are doing instead is making a storage system so that we can actually, you know, get the gold from it. Because that's actually the most important part of this farm, is the gold. I mean, the EXP is a good feature too, not gonna lie. It's, 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 it's honestly way, it's honestly way better than, you know, the spider grinder we currently got. No offense, Brian. And, uh, but yeah, this is what we're doing. As you can see, we got chests up here. Eventually there's going to be like a bunch of hoppers and stuff, like flowing all the way from down, up, up there from those hoppers into the chests down here. And there's going to be like a big redstone system. I don't really understand it because like, well, here's a small little taste. Honestly, I don't understand a lick of this. This makes no sense. It might as well be like, this, this might as well be like some foreign language, like, uh, this might as well be like ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs that I have to decipher because like I have no idea what any of that redstone does, what it means, like, how it works, and I see that I can't get up there. But that's fine. It's probably you know, not in any state to be used right now, so that makes 100% sense as to why it wouldn't be uh, accessible. But anyways, guys, uh, while Afraid is getting that su those supplies, um. I would want to show you guys, you know, the fully built storage system, and I will probably in a future episode though, because like I, I have, so, I've done so much in this episode already, you know, I've done so much, you know, building of the magma blocks up there, and it it just take took a long while to do all of that, and to be honest, to be quite frank, I don't think I have it in me to finish this episode on, you know, by showing you literally everything this farm has to offer. I mean, I, I'm going to show you eventually. Like, I might do an episode, you know, fill in some of the lost gaps here, like some of the missing pieces that, I've, that I haven't really showed you yet. But yeah, anyways, guys, that, that should be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. If you don't, it's fine. It's your choice. I will not judge. And uh, as I stand here under the giant magma block fortress, uh, thank you so much for watching once more. And uh, goodbye. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little montage, you know, little clips from me and Fred building the gold farm. It's the mechanics of it, you know, all the gold blocks.